Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to enable or disable tablet mode on Windows 10. So it's very simple to do this. We're going to head over to our start button. We're going to left click on that. We're going to left click on settings. Left click on system. Under the left side options here, we want to left click on tablet mode. So now we are under the tablet settings. We can see our first option here is to make Windows more touch friendly when using your device as a tablet. So if you have a notebook or a two in one and you're transitioning between a notebook and slate format, you might want to have the option to use it as a tablet mode, which offers a slightly different layout to Windows. So let's just, for example, turn this on right now. So tablet mode is enabled. So basically this will make Windows more touch friendly when your device is used as a tablet. So Windows also has the ability to automatically switch to tablet mode when you're using your device as a tablet. So the default option if you enable tablet mode is to always ask before switching between tablet mode and not tablet mode. However, if we click on this little drop down arrow, we can have three options. We actually could have a do not ask me and don't switch, meaning that it will not switch to tablet mode whether or not you're using your notebook as a tablet or not. Uh, the middle option is always ask me before switching, so it'll prompt you if you want to switch or not. And the last option is don't ask me and always switch, so Windows will automatically switch into tablet mode whenever you're using your device as such. As you can see, our layout has changed a little bit, so even though I'm currently on a desktop computer, um, you can see that the Windows has adopted a tablet appearance. So I'll just turn this off, for example. So it's very easy to toggle this on and off. So it's very simple. There's nothing else to save. Once you're done making your changes, you can just close out of this window, and you're pretty much done. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys out, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.